Hello and welcome back, and that is right. Today I want to talk about the very best four bays that you can buy at the start of 2022. Maybe you've got some of that Crimbo money lying around. Maybe your company has decided after the new year and everyone working remotely because of the damned pandemic that you've been considering that you need to have an in-house server that you can work with. Maybe something you want to work with the Google Workspace, your Office 365 and migrate together one way or another. You've probably come to this video because you're at the start of 2022 and you or your colleagues or just you at home are considering a four bay NAS. And there are a lot out there. If you look at the last five to six years, there has genuinely been hundreds of different solutions released. And a number of them have been brilliant and some of them haven't. But nevertheless, this video is about helping you decide about the right one to buy now. It's very important that you bear that in mind. The reason being that as little as six months from now, there's going to be a bunch of other four bays, almost certainly. And the result is that if you're watching this in summer 2022, there may be better options out there. I hope this video helps you and it will give you a good guideline of what to look for. But if, you are, if you're watching this in the summer, maybe have another look around or hopefully I've made another video like this. Now, for a four bay to be considered for my list, it's very important that you understand the parameters, how I got rid of certain four bays that aren't appropriate, and funnel down the list so I can get to a more manageable group and then pick the best from that, my top three, based on price, based on budget, and based on power. So all of the solutions had to be the following. They have to be a combined hardware software solution. They have to arrive with support with all, if not at least 90% of the applications available from the brand in question. They've got to be user friendly. They've got to be accessible via Mac, Android, Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, name all of those things has to work with it. They have to have a bunch of client applications. They have a bunch of mobile applications. They have to have multimedia access, multi-tier backup access, virtualization access, they've got to have surveillance access, containers, snapshots, RAID, has to have all of those things and it has to do it while remaining user friendly with regular firmware updates to the end user. It's also got to support the latest 20 TB drives and ultimately it has to be a secure solution that has regular security updates as well. So with all of that in mind, I'll be honest, that narrowed around Five to 600 four bay NAS systems to about 150 to 200. So from there, let's make our way onto my top three four bays to buy at the start of 2022. So first up, we're going to look at price. And this is going to be a little bit of a curveball. Originally, when I was looking at my big list there, I was thinking, oh, when it comes to price, you know, the lowest price tag and that sort of thing, I should really look at kind of the real tech, the budget end of things. Your 420Js, your 431Ks, your, uh, your Drive Store series, some of the TerraMasters with ARMs. But more and more when I looked at these solutions and trying to be as strict as possible to my rules, it became very apparent that all of these solutions do not support 90% of what the brands have as their service. Also, a lot of these solutions don't have a vast amount of memory or upgradable memory. And most 4 bay solution buyers, they want more. And I don't think it's fair to recommend, in terms of price, these budget solutions that come with a larger glo uh, glass ceiling at this level. Twos and one bays, that's okay. But at four bay, you want a bit more for your money. These are all solutions that start, uh, you know, half a grand, half a ton. So far, as far as, uh, half a bag of sand, I should say. Well, oh, there we go, letting down my East London roots. But, Nevertheless, the solution I went for in terms of the best price for what you're getting, um, certainly at the entry level, four bays, I went for the QNAP TS451D2, which was released in the early stages of 2020. Um, this is uh, QNAP's kind of entry level Intel based power NAS. It's a dual core. Um, Intel Celeron uh, processor there, the J4025. This CPU is a 2.0 gigahertz processor that can be burst up to 2.9 gigahertz. It's got embedded graphics. The system arrives with two, four, or eight gig of memory. Uh, that's DDR4 sodium memory on board. This system also features um, two one gigabit ethernet ports for link aggregation. It also has HDMI out at 4K 60 frames per second. It supports a myriad of expansion devices and all of that for about $400, which again, once you look around and you look at some of those budget kind of real tech ARM solutions I talked about, 
those arrive at about three to three hundred and fifty dollars so for the sake of fifty to hundred dollars at most this is a much better choice in terms of price and that's why this for me was my price entry for four bays it's not the most sexier impressive four bay it's certainly nowhere near as out there as some of the other four bays i'm going to talk about but nonetheless in terms of four bay nazis this one ticked a lot of boxes for me for that price now deviating ever so slightly away from price let's talk value not the way synology used the word value to mean uh, pretty good for the money i am saying value insofar as incredible value for money and i want to talk of course and it's been a few years this you know i think there's been three best of videos uh, throughout the course of the last 18 months the ds920 plus for me from synology in terms of four bays it's just rocking a lot of stuff now it's worth highlighting it's not at that price point of around 500 to 550 dollars with many many promos on different websites to consider it's not the best for that price tag in terms of hardware indeed qnap um, an acer store with a locker store series and even terramaster have provided slightly better hardware for this price point however you gotta factor in that software and synology's selection of software and their focus on software while still giving you one of the higher tier four bay hardware hardware options out there is what sealed the deal for me that combined solution this four bay arriving with a quad core celeron j4125 processor that's uh, 2.0 gigahertz that can be upgraded to 2.7 gigahertz or upgraded turbo i should say also arrives with four gig of ddr4 2666 megahertz memory that can be upgraded to eight gig it arrives with the entire range of Synology applications supported in DSM-7. It also grows with scalability with the ability to add a five drive add-on. It still has one GBE, something I really hope gets remedied in a future DS922+. And if you're watching this in the future, maybe you know, because I don't know if that's going to happen. I hope it will. I'd like to think it would. But the DS920 is a great option, constantly on offer, always readily available, and is definitely the Reebok Classic of Synology's desktop solutions for home users, prosumer users, and SMB small medium business users. A great solution that has really, really stood out among the pack over the last year and a half. And finally, power. Let's talk about the most powerful four bay on the market there. Now, if you thought the DS920 Plus seemed a little old at 18 months old at the start of 2021, to be featured in this list, oh, strap myself, strap yourself in, my friend. QNAP's TVS 472 XT, easily for me, and this has been 2018, 19, 20, and now 2021 going into 2022, the most powerful four bay I've ever seen. When I remember when QNAP released the TVS 472 XT right at the end of 2018, if I remember. When they released that, I was like, this is the most future-proof NAS I've ever seen. And not only do I stand by that, it was oddly prolific. Because now, at the start of 2022, it's still the most capable, powerful 4-bay on the market. Now, that is a bold statement, particularly for a NAS that's knocking around, looking at my price there, for about a grand to $1,200. So that's more than double the DS920. So what are you are getting for your money? <clears throat> I'm glad you asked. You get an Intel um, Intel Core processor there, eighth gen, that is either an Pentium, an i3, or an i5 at two, four, or six cores. That embedded graphics CPU, high embedded graphics, I might add, also arrives with between eight and 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, however you want to upgrade. It arrives with 10 gigabit Ethernet on the rear. Remember, four bays of storage. It also has two 1 GBE ports. It has support of an upgrade. Op I'm sorry, it has, I should say, two Thunderbolt 3 ports there on the rear. It's got HDMI 2.0 for 4K there. It's got five USB ports there featuring USB 3.2 Gen 2 on board. So that's 10 gigabits per second USB. It has a PCIe Gen 3 times 16 slot. It also has another PCIe Gen 3 times 4 slot that's occupied by the Thunderbolt ports there. It is a beast 
of a system. It even supports installing graphics cards, although it's a bit of a tight fit there. This is a monstrously powerful NAS. It was back then, and in 2022, it's still an absolute monster of a NAS, and by far the most powerful 4 bay in the market right now. And if you are looking for power for your money, this is unquestionably the best option out there. I'll also highlight it now supports ZFS. They've added ZFS as an option. It also supports onboard eight camera licenses as well. It also has two NVMe SSD ports inside for caching, for tiering, or as a raw super fast storage pool. And with 10 GB and Thunderbolt on board, mwah, beautiful. But those have been my recommended four bay NASes to buy at the start of 2022 for price, for value, and for power. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, there is a link to the in the description to NAS Compares where I go into a lot more detail and we highlight some of the reviews and things that we've said in the past about these NASs and how I came by these top three NASs here. If you are interested in learning more, click the subscribe button or the bell to be notified in the future. Click like if you've enjoyed the video because it helps me understand what I'm doing right and makes every video better than the last. And if you're still on the fence and not sure what to buy or you're watching this in summer of 2022, pandemic wrapped up one would hope so who knows um if you are on the fence and you don't know what to go for use the free advice section linked in the description to nas compares genuinely free manned by me and eddie the web guy we're here to help you thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time